so let's choose our pencil go to costume and delete this one this is more than enough then we are going to reduce the size of the pencil by 50 percent and i'm also going to change the direction of my pencil like this then i want my pencil to move horizontally along x-axis to the left hand side and right hand side i don't want it to move up and down so let's program that go to code for moving this pencil i'm going to use the arrow keys of my keyboard right arrow key and left arrow key to move to right and left okay so go to events when right arrow key is pressed what do you want you want to move your pencil by 10 steps so change x by 10 now you are going to duplicate it and then just change the arrow key and this value just tell me what should be the value is it positive or negative or zero yes it is going to be minus 10 negative value so when we move to the left side the values are always negative when we move to right hand side they are positive similarly as we move up the values are positive and we move when we move down they are negative i'm moving to the left hand side now i'm moving to the right hand side but there is no effect of touching the balloon and the pencil so you have to uh, code this thing first of all the balloon has to sense the pencil as soon as the balloon is touching the pencil it should be able to increment my score by one which is a variable that we will create and then it should be uh, the balloon should be hidden right so for that click on balloon and then code what was the condition if so if the balloon is sensing the pencil or touching the pencil or the pencil is touching the balloon so over here it has to sense again artificial intelligence comes over here so if we are going to put the sensing condition over here which is touching okay it has been deleted just press ctrl z it will come again not to the mouse pointer but we will say pencil if it is touching the pencil we are going to increment the score by one which is a variable that we will be creating so go to variable click on make a variable Now there are certain things when you name a variable uh, these are called the rules and regulation while you name a variable give a name to the variable and they are your variable should always start with an alphabet it should never start with a number and special characters like star or the brackets they should not be here in the name and it is always advisable to give the name that you can uh, in future can info uh, find out that this is the name of the variable so this variable does this thing so it is very apparently uh, obvious for over here that the score variable is going to store the score of this game okay so click on this okay and your score is appearing over here so you're going to increment the value of score by one if you want to change it to five you can do that but let it be one and then you are going to fix it here let's see what will happen It is not going to touch or sense it so you have to actually what is the problem you have to actually delete these clones 
hide them first and then delete them okay so when this pencil is touching the balloon they should be hidden and then the clone should be deleted so go to looks take hide put it over here and then delete which is in control delete this clone okay okay it is touching and deleting is working but your score is not incrementing can you tell me why just observe this code why this is not incrementing because over here the variable name is score and over here it is my variable so these are the some mistakes made by users or made by the programmer so you have to change this to score okay, let's test again okay so these balloons are deleting and my score is also incrementing okay now over here i want to put a condition that if the user is or the player is able to score more than five then he should get the message or he should get a welcome screen or the winner screen right so for that uh, coding again just tell me what should be the code the again the condition is if if score is greater than five so you have to take the if block which is in control if and the condition is going to be here so what is the condition if score is greater than five so you have to take the operator greater than operator which is here now the score should be 5 and then you will take the variable you will take the variable score and you will drag it over here now if score is greater than 5 then what do you want you want your balloon party screen to be visible so which is here switch backdrop to winning party okay now just put it over here and test okay now my uh, screen uh, is showing this balloon party one because my score is eight which is wrong it should be zero while i am playing the game okay and the second thing is uh, just see when I start the game this screen is appearing which is the winning screen and it should appear only when I score more than 5 so we have to fix two things over here first this uh, score should be 0 whenever we start the game and second thing is that my star or the dark screen should be there instead of this winning party screen okay so stop this and go to events when clicked what do you want you want that the score should be zero so go to variable and drag it over here and select score so when you click the score is going to be zero and the second thing that you want is when you click on this flag your the uh, star screen should be there so go to looks switch backdrop to star okay so let's see yes my score is zero two three four five why i'm not going to my winning screen let's see once again okay i got my winner screen as soon as i scored more than five but the there is another problem this pencil should not be in my 
second backdrop. So you have to code the pencil where it should be visible and where it should not be visible. So click on this and click on code. Now when you want it to be visible where the backdrop is stars. So go to events when the backdrop switches to stars here this pencil should be visible or you want to show this pencil and when you are going to hide it when you are going to hide it when this winning party screen appears so go to events again when backdrop switches to tell me this winning party this should be hidden play this game again one two three four There is one more thing that you must have observed. Even after I won the game, the balloons were falling down. So, as soon as you score more than 5, the game should be stopped. So go to balloon, where you put this condition. And we have stopped all here yeah. okay so as soon as i score more than five it should uh, switch back to the winning party and stop the game try it something this is not working because this uh, by mistake has come over here it should be here one two Three, four, five, and six. So my balloons are also not falling down. My score is also six, and I have got the party screen. And when I switch, uh, click on this uh, flag, I always start with this star screen. Now you can also create the timer over here, as we have created in the previous game. For that you just have to create another variable timer. Now if you want to increase the time, you can also do that. Just click on time. And over here I have stop time. Just uh, play that. I think that's perfect when the balloon bursts. This kind of sound I can use. So how to use that? Just go to code and go to sound. Over here we have different uh, code for the sound. Now I just want to play the pop sound whenever I, my pencil or my balloon is going to touch the pencil. So I'll you drag this and I will put it over here. Let's test. Have you heard? So this way you can insert the sounds and you can also use different sounds if they are not there in your gallery which is uh, given in this uh, scratch tutorial if you want a particular sound you can download from internet and you can import the sound in this gallery as well so keep on trying keep on experimenting think of a game in your mind there must be some games which are wandering and which are uh, you know i want to come out in the form of coding scratch and uh, so just keep on exploring and keep on trying those ideas which are there in your mind and try your hands on coding and see how wonderful it is to code your own game and then playing it so happy coding happy summer vacations keep on trying